Hello, welcome to a new World Combat Sim Developer video, today we will be going over the helicopter simulation UI. It's still very much a work in progress, but here are some of the highlights. First let's get started, enter the helicopter. Here a AS350 Acuroil which has been heavily modified for the demo to have every component added to it. The first multifunctional display, or MFD, we will review is the system screen, it contains critical information about the fuel system, engine, and internal subsystems. It is based on the real Apache helicopter, the fuel system will display fuel sources, such as main, auxiliary, or external, this will indicate where the fuel is coming from. If the helicopter takes damage or subsystems fail, an indicator will display to alert the pilot. In the case of engine fire being the most dangerous, if the helicopter is equipped with a fire suppression system, it would be good to set it to automatic, as a fire can quickly spread to other critical systems. Fire in the engine isn't the only place to worry. For transports a fire could break out in the cargo, damaging the internals or killing passengers. The next MFD is the target camera screen, the MFD allows you to see in a picture in picture of the forward looking infrared or flare module. The target camera displays the time and distance to intercept in the IFF transponder ID at the target. If the target is not broadcasting its IFF code it will display as an unknown contact. Flare can be mounted in a turret ball under the aircraft or above it in a mast mounted configuration, this allows for the helicopter to see over hills without exposing itself to enemy fire. Munitions can also be queued to this display. It can also be set to view the winch to assist the pilot during transport missions. The flare ball can be queued to the chain gun and remotely operated from either position. This allows the pilot to view the feed from either cameras mounted inside or outside of the helicopter from the safety of the flight cabin. Depending on the model and variant multiple vision modes are supported including night vision, thermal, and full color daylight TV. Helicopters equipped with guided missiles can use the various radar and laser sensors to track, target, and engage from standoff distances of several miles. Using the terrain to break line of sight and avoid contact will allow a better chance of survival, as close-range direct combat against dedicated anti-aircraft weapons is not advised. Unless equipped with the correct jamming and countermeasure systems, surface-to-air missiles or radar-guided anti-aircraft guns will make quick work of most helicopters. Keeping your pilots and crew alive is even more important, pilots and gunners that are shot down can be rescued via combat search and rescue missions, but if they are killed then their character is no longer available for future missions, or other parts of the game, a senior pilot that distinguishes themselves on the battlefield makes a great politician and can become a future cabinet member or even president. The outcomes of these missions will determine the control of provinces and their resources. World Combat Sim will demonstrate more of these systems working together including province conquest to allow for a complex modern battlefield simulation to take place in the coming future. All 3D models are placeholders and will change as the mission level generator is finished. Please join our Discord and subscribe to our social media for more updates. Thanks for watching.